An elementary introduction to the Wolfram language. Lesson 1. Elementary Arithmetic. Welcome to Mathematica, one of the most incredible programming languages in existence. In these videos, I will be teaching you how to use this powerful tool. Here's an example of why Mathematica is so great. So now I'm going to type prime of 7, which will give us the nth prime, or in this case, the 7th prime. Then I'll type prime of 3, which will give us the 3rd prime, 5. Now I'm going to do prime of a much larger number, and as you can see, it works just as fast. This just calculated three different nth primes. Just typing one line of code already has the power to help you with some difficult math problems. Just imagine what you will be able to do when you fully know the Wolfram language. The first thing that you have to understand about Mathematica is how to actually use the basics, meaning how to run your code. So, underneath I will write some code, and then when my code is done, I will push shift and enter to run it. Please remember that enter alone won't run your code. It will just move you to the next line. So here I'm going to type prime of 9, then hit shift enter and it's 23. Now that you know how to run code, I'm going to teach you about Mathematica's simplest functionality, elementary arithmetic, or in other words, how it acts as a calculator. Now we're going to go back to our coding cells. I'm going to input 1 plus 1 and hit shift enter and it's 2. Now I'm going to input 2 times 8, hit shift enter and it is 16. Here I'm now going to type 50 divided by 5, and as you can see, it's 10. Then I'm going to input 2 to the third power, and it's 8. What you also have to remember is that Mathematica uses the order of operations. That means that if you use parentheses, what happens in the parentheses happens first. So 7 times 8 minus 10 is negative 14. And then I'll do 6 plus 4 times 3, which is 18. Now I'm going to do a much more complicated equation. 6 times 7 plus 9 plus 8 times 9 minus 100 plus 8 times 7 squared, which is negative 285. Now I know that you might be thinking, wow, Mathematica is a calculator. I didn't have one of those already. And this is the point where I will show you that Mathematica is so much more. So here I'm going to do 2015 to the 2015th power, hit shift and enter, and whoa. This is a massive number. Does your calculator ever return a 6,659 digit number to you? Just to show you how massive that number is, I will take the last 24 digits of it. The number you see right above is greater than the number of stars in the universe, and Mathematica just performed a calculation that was 3.42 times 10 to the 6,634th times bigger than it. That is a 3.42 times 1 followed by 6,634 zeros. I doubt that there is even a name for such a large number, and Mathematica just performed that calculation in seconds. So get excited, because this is just the tip of the iceberg, and these videos will be teaching you about one of the most powerful programming languages in existence. You are going to learn how to do so many incredible things in it, like analyzing data, creating incredible art with graphics, exploring the world with the geo functions, deploying to the cloud, and so much more. Just remember to keep practicing with these simple Mathematica operations because they are the basis for everything that you will be learning from here on out. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in our next video.